Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations Season 2 Part 3. This is, so we are currently just over at our old, old house, I guess you could say, for ice. He's currently whipping up some salad, I think. Noel told us off. He said that we were behaving inappropriately because we were making salad for everyone. I don't know how that's behaving inappropriately considering this is our old house, but I just ignored him and continued because he's wearing a stupid t-shirt and he's mean. <laughs> Noel turned mean. I don't get it. But um, Ice is just gonna grab some of that and can you also grab some of this? Where is Abby? She's just like wandering around outside in her nappy just like having a grand old time because no one cares about her apparently. Devon just kind of just threw her on the floor outside and now she's just staying there. Um, so yeah, she's just oh, chilling, picking her nose. We should also have someone come and collect these seeds so we can get some extra money. So Ice, uh, you need to use the toilet once you've finished eating that and then you can come grab all of these. Oh, Kia! Kia was our old family dog and apparently she's just died. That's so sad. Oh, and we also got a party invitation to Noel's party. Um, so it's formal attire. Is this the wedding? Are they going to get married, like, at this party? Because we know that Noel and Danny are getting married and he chose formal attire. Unless that's just Noel being Noel and that's why he's chosen it. Because he always has been a little bit of a snob. He's been like the family snob. So we'll, I guess we'll go. It starts at like 5pm. And then Ice, why don't you come and pick up all of these? Are there also, yep, there's something right here. So we're going to collect that as well. And uh, is there anything else around? Don't think there is. Um, no, there's not much else, so... We'll just continue to do that. Devon's just having a great old time. Oh, she just bailed right on her face. And Belle has earned a promotion, apparently, so she's now a filing clerk. I'm so happy that Belle finally has a job. You know, when I played with her, she was always, like, the stay-at-home mum and stuff like that. Um, but now that all the kids have, like, grown up a bit, you know, she's she's a... Uh, She's in the business career, which is awesome. So that's what she does. And Snow, I, uh, story progression just tells me everything. Apparently Snow is working on her garden. Um, but we are going, oh, what? We, we don't get anything for these seeds. Are you kidding me? Why don't we get anything for it? Oh, well. Uh, he just found some iron as well. So we're going to sell that. Abby, what's wrong with you? everything oh go away story progression i don't want to know how well snow's doing in her garden where is she even gardening because she's not here um he's gonna oh she is now she just arrived <laughs> i don't know what ice is doing he's just running around uh she's gonna go put abby in the ch high chair where is the high chair oh it's over here i was like don't go and put her upstairs because i'm fairly sure there's like stuff up here from when bell had wave originally and she also got a promotion. That's great, Snow, but I really don't care. Right, go and put Abby in her high chair so we can feed her because the poor girl's starving. And do you have work today, Ice? He does. He has work in three hours, so he's actually probably not going to be able to attend the party. Um, you need hygiene. Take a shower. We're probably going to get kicked out. She's going to be like, you're behaving inappropriately. Who's this? Madeline Moore. She looks like a vampire. Genuinely looks like a vampire. Oi! We were trying to take a shower. See, she told us off. Devon, can you feed the baby? Um, oh, she already is. I don't need to tell her twice. Right, Ice. Oh, she's gonna go give him a compliment. Stop it, you two. They're being adorable. I bloody love her swimwear. I'm such a fan. I would wear this. Um, Ice is kind of there like, okay, cool. <laughs> he just doesn't accept romance. No, what are you doing? You telling us off too? 
I don't know why they're telling us off so much. Apparently our family hates us. Um, we're going to play alone because he needs to work on his guitar a little bit. And stop by and welcome the latest addition to the Frost's household, Sadie. The lovable little puppy has been adopted by the family. Oh, so Kia died and now we have a, we have a new puppy called Sadie. Well, we don't. The Frost do. She's actually adorable. I want to get a close-up of this little thing. Look at her. She is the cutest thing. She's like half Dalmatian and half... I don't know what other dog she she is, but she's bloody adorable. Oh my goodness. She is the cutest little thing. Come out here and meet her. We are going to... Um, we're going to feed her a treat. Hopefully she'll accept it. That's freaking adorable that they just went out and bought a puppy. Oh my god, I love it. And Winter just got a new job. Congrats, Winter. Really don't care, but congratulations, my friend. Um, the party should be starting soon. Can you actually answer your phone? Okay, we're going to attend the party, even though we're already here. And you should go to work. Jamming out. Right, go to work. <laughs> Stop playing guitar, you can go to work. And everyone's here at the party. Everyone just arrived. Where did everyone arrive from? Ice Frost is going, yes, continue. Devin's going to stay here and just like play with Sadie. How are you doing, little one? Oh, you actually really need to pee. Um, Unfortunately, I don't think they have a peeing station down here. So you are going to have to wet yourself, which is fine. We can just clean her afterwards. So she's going to do that. Why is everyone here? Why are you having a formal party? Um, we should probably get changed into our formal wear though. So formal wear. Let's get changed. Who? Why are you holding our baby? Why are you doing this? Why do people do this in generations? This has become a thing in my generations let's plays. Where random people come and just hold my babies. And I'm like no. Stop. It's not your baby. Just don't look after it. We don't need your help. <laughs> um, we're going to come and have her check for a profession. Because we do want her to get into the daycare career. Which is a profession. I um, was umming and ahhing whether it was a job or a profession. And there was like a full argument going on in the comment section. Um, but it is actually a profession. So, um, I Oh, yep. There we go. Daycare. It was on it. So, do you have what it takes to keep toddlers and children happy? If feeding, playing and changing dirty diapers sounds attractive to you, this profession might be your calling. Eventually, you will also be able to care for children as well as toddlers and make sure they are on the right track to success in school and properly behaved. Start caring and teaching kids of this town now. We are going to accept that career. So, she is now working in that. We're not going to learn about that. Crying children and erratic moods are not for everyone. Amateur babysitters may think a little tender love will do the trick, but they'll have to be quick on their toes to care for two kids at once. Grab your baby bottles. They keep telling us off. Leave us alone. Stop telling us off. And Noel's boasting to us. Seriously though guys, we are not doing anything. Like why are they telling me off? <laughs> No, don't listen to a pickup line. Danny is right like over there and she is having your baby, Noel. You disgust me, you little <laughs> I'm saying that, but in the last season we had Ice Cheat. I don't did Ice Cheat when Alexis was pregnant though? I really can't remember. I don't think he did, but maybe he did. I'm not too sure. She wants to reach level two of daycare. What's wrong with you, baby? Oh, someone's just stuffed you in the walker. Are you kidding me? Winter Bianchi and Binky Robbins have been hitting it off rather well lately and close friends have been asking, could it be love? No, it is not love. She is with Wave and that's the way I want it to stay. <laughs> like, why is this happening? I just want them to be together and the game's ruining it for me. Right, we're going to take Abby out of this because someone just stuffed her in a walker with like a poopy diaper and just grossness. She's just sat in her own feces. Look at the green gunk coming off her. We're gonna go change her. I see you actually at work. Yes, you are. 
We are going to chill with our musicians for a little bit. Try and get to know people. Oh, he's he's got too many people around him because he's a loner. <laughs> we are gonna right sort out Abby. Let's um. You're already changing her dirty diaper. That's good. We are also going to um. Clever rhymes. What do we need to do? Read. We can do that. Don't don't put her in there. We're gonna go home in a minute anyway, but you can snuggle her and uh, attack her with the claw and then just go put her on the floor. <laughs> that sounds really mean, but she'll be fine. She is getting tired though, so we're gonna have to head home soon. I just don't want to put her to sleep and then have to wake her up again, because that would be mean. Um, no, why is this your formal wear? You make no sense. Why are you wearing into the future? He's slow dancing with this weirdo who took our baby. What the hell is happening? One of you guys commented, this was Kala or Kala, I don't, Kala? I really don't know how to pronounce your username. But you said, here's a word I came up with to describe Noel. Casa Nolva. And I giggled so much of that. I am such a fan of like puns and little things like that. And that just cracked me up. You know how you have Casanovas who are really romantic and like trying to get with all these girls and be like the most romantic person ever? Noel is a Casanova. <laughs> Which honestly made me chuckle so much. Oh, Binky's here. We're going to give a friendly introduction to Binky, I guess, because we've not met her yet. Are people in the Bianchi household? No. I really want Devon and Belle to be really good friends. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to try and meet Belle at one point because I just want them to be really good friends. I feel like they'd get on so well and they'd have like so much in common. But she's going to go speak to Binky. Hey Binks, how, how you been doing? How you doing in school? I've heard lots of rumours about you recently. We're going to make a silly face and we are going to, we're going to, um, I don't know, just chat a little bit, get to know her. We don't really know her all that well. Um, we're going to shakabra her and what else should we do? Talk about movies. I, we really need to introduce ourselves to Belle for sure. Um, oh, these two, these two oldies just dancing with each other. That's adorable. Uh, where's everyone else though? Noel's just sat watching. Oh no, Jared. It's Jared. What are you doing again here, bud? Yeah, you. I'm looking at you. He's flirting with snow. That's what he's doing. He's actually an adult, which is weird. I'm glad you're finally leaving, Devon. Thanks for making my party lame. Noel! I don't know what's got into Noel. He's been like so mean. But we are actually going to go home because Ab Abby is really tired. Pick her up. Do not leave without her. Oi. Devon, pick her up. Pick up Abby. And then we're going to go home. So yeah, Noel kicked us out of his party. I don't know what's got into him. He's like, see ya, bitch. <laughs> I honestly don't know what's got into him. So rude. Oh, Sadie is the cutest little thing ever. I want to take her. I want to steal her and make her our own. That's mean, isn't it? Like, it's e probably Everest's only friend. Because Everest actually took Kia out for a walk and that's when she died, which is quite scary because I'm like, Everest, what did you do to her? Um, but yeah, I can't believe Kia died. She was one of our family dogs, but now she's resting in peace with Olaf. Olaf, the original dog, and I think they're chestnut their puppy is actually still alive at the frost household which is good right we are going to go put you to bed little one because you need it and then i think once ice gets home from work which he should be coming back now because he finishes at 11 i think i'm gonna have him send a breakup text to alexis which might sound harsh but you know what it has to be done it has to end and it has to end sooner rather than later it's nice to get together with the extended family in trade stories remarked noel frost after he was invited over by bell to do just that keeps the family strong and keeps my gossip quota filled 
No, he has become like the bitchiest, meaniest, gossipy, I just made up words that don't exist, but he's just become a horrible person. <laughs> I don't like the person he's become. Um, Devon, why don't you, do we have any leftovers? Um, eat some leftover autumn salad. You can have some autumn salad too, Ice, and then we are going to break up with Alexis. So, um, we're going to text and send a breakup text to mix Miss Alexis. I can't remember her second name. What is her second name? Alexis. Alexis, um, Tiddly. Oh yeah, that was her name. So yeah, we're going to send a breakup text because it is finally time for those two to be over poor abby but you know what she'll still see her mum this is not the end of alexis we will definitely like pop over a few times i've got i really want her and devon to really dislike each other because i feel like devon is such a chilled out girl you know she's athletic and quite outdoorsy and grew up in isla P paradiso so she's got that cool like surfer vibe where nothing really phases her and alexis is just a spoiled brat um so yeah i really don't want those two to get along so we're gonna make some drama between those two i think and we're gonna answer our phone real quick just just answer your phone first ice and then you can go to bed <laughs> stop being such a drama king all you have to do is answer your phone for me there you go who is it Jessica Richards wants to know if Ice would like to go on a date. I have no idea who you are and we're just about to break up with our girlfriend. And we quite like our housekeeper or nanny, so no. Um, but we are going to, where is it? Social text and send a breakup text to Alexis. Goodbye Alexis, this is the end of you and Ice, my friend. This is the end. Did he, did he do it? Oh, and he just... What? Wave's an adult. I thought Wave was still a teenager. No wonder him and... um. No wonder him and... Binky are no longer together. He's an adult. Oops. Should have probably aged him back down. Might do that off screen. <laughs> That's awkward. I really thought he was a teenager. But I think I'm going to skip through this because the Sims are just going to go to sleep. And I'll be back with you guys in the morning. Now morning and I just decided to make the little nursery room for Devon's new career. As you guys know, we just got her into the daycare profession. So I wanted to give her a room where she could just have all the kids in one place. She could like teach them how to talk, how to walk. I forgot to change the colour of that, which I will do off screen. But one of you guys, this was actually Chelsea Savage, said, how do you make the coffee tables and rug slightly off centre? You need to use a cheat for this. So if you hit Control Shift C and put testing cheats enabled true, that's the first thing you need. And then hit the same again and put move objects on and then if you just like pick up a rug you can use alt to move things around and you can like literally put them anywhere so like you can tilt them at any way you want to um you can just place them anywhere basically so we're gonna put that back where it was keep it under there and yeah that's how you do it so i just wanted to let you guys know about that little cheat if you didn't know about it but we're gonna head back into live mode and just continue so you really need something to eat so we are going to feed you on the floor you can get up devon so yeah we're gonna look after our own our the child that we'll look paid to look after well not really paid because ice doesn't pay us he just lets us live with him um it's all a little bit freaky um, but she's gonna go look after her feed her and stuff before the other children come so she's gonna give her own basically her own some attention and then she actually needs to take care of herself so she can use this and take a shower and then head downstairs and eat some leftover waffles and 
I think, guys, we broke up at Alexis at just the right time. Alexis had basically cheated on Ice in the past. She was with a sim called Ben, and apparently, now, affections appear to be developing between local sims, Jared Osborne and Alexis Tidley. OMG, can you talk about drama? After they were heard openly commenting on each other's mad kissing skills, that is gross. I am almost vomited when I read that. Like, we broke up with her at the right time because now she's with Jared, apparently. And also, our little sister is dating some old dude. Well, he looks old from what I can see of his picture. Let's go look at him and see what he looks like. We can't see into him his house because he's in there, but he looks old. Romance is in the air for Snowfrost and Michael Donovan as they were seen parading their newfound affections all over the town. Where is he? I want to get a look at this guy. He looks well old. I can't see him, so uh, let's head back over to our house. Um, but yeah, she's with some old dude. <gasps> and Noel is now the father of a new baby boy. Danny just gave birth to a baby boy named Lester. Oh... I mean, we need to go see him. Oh my goodness. So, Ice is now a uncle to a new baby called Lester. That's so cute. We definitely need to go visit them at some point. Oh my goodness, that's just made me so happy. So, Danny and Noel are now parents. Go and use the potty chair, Abby. Stop screaming. Stop wanting attention. You can literally look after yourself now. All you need us for is to feed you. Um, so she's gonna go do that and then the kitties when are the rest of them coming? They come in one hour, which is terrifying Devin Steele's daycare work just started. So they just arrived. Yeah, everyone's dropping off their kiddledies She's very hungry apparently. Well, we are going to feed her on the floor and she's in a bad mood He is not having fun. Well go play with toys then Lee Lee Sanford and Lisa Sanford. Oh, they're twins. Lee and Lisa. Imaginative, imaginative names right there. <laughs> He's just biting some blocks, taking his stress out. How's Abby? Um, why is her energy so low? Did she just, like, not sleep at all? Ice, can you actually um, attack her with the claw? How is she feeling? She's good apart from that. So attack her with the claw and snuggle her. Abby, seriously, your dad's trying to, her dad's trying to like cuddle her and be all cute and she's just walking away. She's like, dad, I have had enough of you. I am not doing that. <laughs> we are also going to toss her in the air and tickle her again. And then we'll put her back in her crib because she actually needs to sleep. She must have just woken up because she needed to eat. So she's going to do that and we're going to have some waffles. Devon, what are you doing to Lee? Devon, what are you doing? Why have you put him in there? He's a tad smelly. <laughs> Ew. I'm so happy that they're parents. We have to go visit that. We're going to try and potty train Lee. We're going to... This helps us with our career. So we're going to try and potty train him. See if it'll work. Hopefully it will, because... We want to get razors quick. Look at her in her little outfit. She genuinely looks like a nanny now. Um, how's Lisa doing? She's lonely. Oh, okay. We will snuggle her and we will also attack her with the claw and toss her in the air. Ice is just getting ready for the day. We also need him to like take care of his needs. And then I think, do you have work? He doesn't have work, so I think we'll have him actually go and visit Danny and her new baby. We'll go pay Lester a visit. I can't believe they named their son Lester. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> I did not think that would be the type of name that they would choose, but apparently so. Um, but I think I'll do that in the next part, guys. So I'm going to end this part here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this part, please do give it a big thumbs up and do leave your comments and suggestions down below. Now that Ice has actually broken up with um, Alexis, we're going to keep an eye on his 
online dating. We actually need to buy a computer for them so he can keep an eye on it easier. But we'll definitely keep an eye on his online dating and Devon will still continue. You know, she has a mad crush on him. We all know that. And uh, he is around attractive company, so he quite likes her too. But uh, we're definitely going to work on their relationship. To read some of your guys' comments from the last part, Jen put, please may you change Abby's hair colour to the whitish blonde that Ice has. I honestly don't know where Abby got her hair from because Alexis is brown and Ice is like white. So maybe it is like a mixture of the two. But if you guys do want to see me change her hair colour, I can just do it off screen. But um, I can change her, her hair colour if you want me to because, you know, it'll make her look more like a frost. And also, the cutie pie 99 said you should make an underground basement man cave for Ice so that he can like play his guitar down there and it'll be like a mini recording studio. And I definitely want to do that at some point. I was going to do that, but thank you for your comment anyway. Um, yeah, I, I am planning on doing that at some point once we have more money and stuff like that. Maybe once Devon's gone into her career a bit more and we start earning a bit more. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to doing that. Thank you guys so much for all your lovely comments. And thank you once again for your mad support on this Let's Play. It's insane and I love it so much. I'm so glad to be back with Generations, as you guys know. So thank you all for watching and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!